Hello and welcome. I'm Jacqueline and I'm going to show you one way how to build an interactive lesson activity on Smart Notebook. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use an example for a grade 2 class learning about measurements. In my lesson, I want to reinforce students' knowledge on the difference between standard measuring tool and non-standard measuring tool. In this activity, I want the students to drag only the non-standard measuring tools into the box here in the middle. As you can see, I have a variety of objects representing the standard and non-standard measuring tools. Obviously, you can input any images of your own liking from the gallery, which is the second tab here on the left. Click on that. And so, for example, we would like to search paperclip. Type in paperclip and press enter. Under pictures, we'll find the image. Click and drag this image, and there you'll have another image for a non-standard measuring tool. Once you've completed this, we're ready to begin. Click on the add on icon here, which is the jigsaw puzzle on the left. Click on activity builder. It'll lead you to a page that says selected object. Make this object an activity object, which means the main object of our activity. In this case, it will be our box. After selecting so, click Edit. As you can see, a shaded area will cover the image, which is your main object. On your left, it will lead to a page that says Objects. Accept these objects, or reject these objects. Accept these objects would be non-standard measuring tool in this case, such as our hand. So we'll click our hand drag into this box. The paper clip. And the foot. Reject these objects. And that would be our measuring tape and our ruler. The next step is click settings. It leads you to a page that says when accepted, objects play. This will mean that when objects are dragged into the box, such as the paper clip, it will fade out. Or if you click on the drop down menu, fly out, snap to center, or spin. Choose one to your own liking. Next, when objects are rejected, you can choose one that says bounce back, or if you prefer, none. Once you have done so, click on done. And there you go. Let's give it a go. So for example, our measuring tape. We'll click and drag into the box. Reject it. Or a paper clip. Click and drag. Accepted. So there you go. Five easy steps. First, click on Add On and Activity Builder. Number two, Edit. Number three, Drag Objects. Drag objects into the accepted or rejected box. Number four, Settings. Set how you would like your objects to be rejected or accepted. And there you go. Five easy steps to create an interactive lesson plan.